Russia has lost hundreds of tanks and armored personnel carriers in the brutal fighting in eastern Ukraine. Russia has left a trail of destruction in the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. However, Ukrainian Azov fighters still defended the besieged city. Russia was determined to take the city but, with both sides suffering heavy losses and Russia not gaining much ground, its capture would be more of a symbolic political victory for the Kremlin. For the umpteenth time, the Ukrainian army managed to stop the Russian troops from trying to break through the defense using armored tanks. The incident of explosion of a Russian armored tank cost Moscow the loss of around 3,504 tanks during the war, which lasted more than a year. The 8th Separate Mountain Assault Battalion of the 10th Separate Mountain Assault Brigade claimed responsibility for the explosion of the Russian armored tank. So far, the battle between Russia and Ukraine in Bakhmut city has been described as like hell on earth. Soldier deaths continued to fall on both the Russian and Ukrainian sides. The Ukrainian army set a new record by killing 1,090 troops of Vladimir Putin in 24 hours in the battle for the city of Bakhmut. The previous record was recorded on February 7 by eliminating 1,030 Moscow soldiers. That means the new record for the deaths of Kremlin soldiers is 60 more people. But Vladimir Putin continues to send troops in an attempt to seize Bakhmut. During the war in Bakhmut II, the Russian troops were assisted by the mercenaries of the Wagner Group. The Wagner Group, which is believed to be composed of Russian mercenaries and private military contractors, has been a key player in the conflict, supporting Russian-backed separatists in the Donbass region. However, with its strength dwindling, Ukraine sees an opening to turn the tide of the conflict in its favor. Explosion after explosion looks very dramatic to mark the latest loss of Vladimir Putin who must lose a number of tanks and troops. In video footage shared by the Ukrainian military, a group of Russian tanks can be seen crossing a muddy road. The drone camera shows that the tanks were bombarded with rockets and grenades. The tank was shaken and stopped running and not long after an explosion was heard. White smoke was seen billowing and a secondary explosion followed. As a result of a loud explosion, several parts of the tank were blown away. Continuing the close combat, another Russian tank was targeted by Ukrainian fighters' rockets. Ukrainian forces have launched a local counterattack to the west of Bakhmut where Vladimir Putin's army may be losing its momentum to capture the town after months of fierce fighting. Ukrainian soldiers from the terror unit published a notable episode of their fighting near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. In this hottest area of the Ukrainian-Russian battle, they showed an impressive level of coordination between air reconnaissance units and artillery units, and air support forces. Laconic comms between an air reconnaissance unit and artillery facilitated by understandable landmarks for fire adjustment lead to either M777 or Crab howitzers to load and shoot payload onto Russian positions, or a scheduled MI-8 arrives to fire off unguided rockets from a climb position to reach maximum firing range. An air reconnaissance team operates drones in a designated area, which means the segments for patrol are divided among them, and if there are precise landmarks for fire adjustment, it indicates that the surveillance areas are well known for the artillerymen, too, and a sign for particular artillery squads who already worked out good aim on these landmarks. Finally, if there are no situations when artillery has to abruptly stop firing, it means the target priority is clear, too. The commanders of all levels know their function well and only work in their designated areas of responsibility. This not allows to exclude some intermediaries during command transmission, and even provides for such interesting tactics as the combination and coordination of artillery and airstrikes on the Russians in these areas. Transparent and precise coordination of areas of responsibility, fast command transmission, an overall well-organized machine combined is what the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine calls the deadly web of the Bakhmut defense operation. Ukraine's resistance to Russian invasion has hinged on the destruction of its tanks with NATO-supplied manpads and anti-tank guided missiles. 
The anti-tank missile Javelin made in the United States has now become a symbol of Ukraine's resistance against the attack by Russian, armored troops. Several visuals of Russian tanks burning, fracturing, and even rusting have gone viral on social media. However, the carnage of the mighty Russian T-90 raises concerns about its potential. Ukraine has long been equipped with state-of-the-art anti-tank systems that have dealt a heavy blow to Russian tanks, since the initial months of the invasion, including the javelins provided by the United States and the new generation light anti-tank weapons supplied by the United Kingdom. These missiles are believed to be game-changing equipment delivered to Ukraine during the war. They can take out electronic and kinetic defenses, target the tank's vulnerable top, and don't need ongoing guidance or tracking from an exposed operator. Not just these, Ukraine's own Stugner P-80GMs have also proved to be an effective asset in the fight against Russian armor. Ukrainian forces destroy Russian tanks and armored vehicles and take Russian trench. These images show Ukrainian forces taking out Russian soldiers on the battlefield and Russian tanks and armored vehicles being targeted, with Ukrainian soldiers also seen taking a Russian trench. Ukrainian troops also annihilated Russian anti-tank troops seconds after they fired on their comrades near Bakhmut. These images show Ukrainian soldiers destroying a Russian BMP with a well-aimed Javelin anti-tank missile. On the other hand, however, Ukrainian troops hit Russian positions near Bakhmut. Footage shows multiple explosions as Ukrainian forces shell Russian positions, with later images showing other Russian positions peppered with explosions. The video also shows a number of Russian soldiers who appear to have died on the battlefield. Wounded Russian soldiers are seen walking slowly through a forested area, with several images of Russian soldiers who died on the battlefield. Intense street fighting in Bakhmut was still ongoing, with Ukrainian troops opening fire with rocket-propelled grenades as gunfire could be heard in the background. Ukrainian artillery also overpowered Russian troops who were seen digging new trenches. This footage shows the Russian position between two fields, with soldiers apparently busy preparing new trenches when Ukrainian artillery destroys the position. Not only that, but the Ukrainian army also removed a group of Russian troops and equipment with footage showing a number of Russian soldiers and tanks being targeted by Ukrainian drones, with later images showing the drones targeting trenches. Several explosions show a group of Russian soldiers being taken outside as Ukrainian drones target them from the sky. One group that was hit by the drone bombs was seen running away when they were suddenly hit by a huge explosion. The Russian war machine is also seen being hit by a Ukrainian drone bomb.